Welcome to the Life Bible Study, a weekly study of the Bible with Bella Victor, host of the radio program Minute with the Master. Bella's passion is that people would understand God's Word and allow it to affect all areas of their lives. Are you longing to know God? Are you desiring to know more of His Word? Have you been wanting to see breakthrough in your life? Then you are in the right place. Stay tuned as we join Bella for Life Bible Study. Good morning. Nice to be with you all again. So how was your Easter? Did you all have a good celebration? I know Easter day was quite early this year and it did take us by surprise. Well, today I want to share some thoughts on Christ's resurrection. Now, why is resurrection an important part of our faith? Christ's resurrection is at the crux of the gospel. It is the resurrection of Christ that makes Christianity a relationship-based religion and not one based on principles. Paul says this eloquently in 1 Corinthians 15, 14 and 17. Let me read this from the Amplified Version. And if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is vain, useless, amounting to nothing. And your faith is also vain, imaginary, unfounded, devoid of value and benefit, and not based on truth. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is worthless and powerless, mere delusion, and you're still in your sins and under the control and penalty of sin. Let me go over a couple of points to bring out the importance of Christ's resurrection. For one, the resurrection of Jesus proves the divinity of Jesus. Resurrection proved Jesus was the son of God. Romans 1, 3 and 4 brings it out well. By being raised from the dead, he was proved to be the mighty son of God with the holy nature of God himself. You see my friends, Jesus the son of God came to the earth as a man, a sinless man to die for us and in the place of us. And his coming back to life proved he was God's son. Secondly, resurrection is a proof that our sins are forgiven. 1 Corinthians 15:17 says, "And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins." Resurrection is a statement that our sins are paid for or put away. Jesus' resurrection is proof of job done. Our sin debt paid in full and that our sins are forgiven. So Christ's resurrection is essential for our justification. In Romans 4:25 we read, "He was delivered over to death for our trespasses." and was raised to life for our justification. Justification in simple terms is just as if we are right. So Jesus resurrection is a receipt of our righteousness. Jesus resurrection has made us acceptable to God. Let me take a section from the Cambridge Bible for schools and colleges. His resurrection proved his acceptance as our substitute. and therefore our acceptance in him he was raised because our justification was effected not in order to give us justification as many interpret it the parallel is complete we sinned therefore he suffered we were justified therefore he rose thirdly jesus resurrection has given us new life first corinthians 15:20 to 22 reads Christ has indeed been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep for since death came through a man the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man for as in Adam all die so in Christ all will be made alive we are moved from death to life fourthly Christ's resurrection gives us future hope Jesus said in John 11:25 to 26 I am the resurrection and the life whoever believes in me though he die yet shall he live and every one who lives and believes in me shall never die Jesus resurrection has given us hope that our life extends 
beyond our earthly life. Otherwise, our religion would have ended with Jesus' earthly life and that would give us no hope. Paul said this in 1 Corinthians 15, 19. And if our hope in Christ is only for this life, we are more to be pitied than anyone else in the world. Resurrection gives us hope to see our loved ones who believed in Jesus and who are not with us anymore. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, when Paul is encouraging the Thessalonians about grieving for the dead, he says, Brothers, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you will not grieve like the rest, who are without hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, we also believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in Him. He goes on to say, Comfort one another with these words. Resurrection gives us hope that we too who believe in Jesus would rise up after our life here on earth. And in encouraging those of us who are alive, Paul says, For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God. First, the believers who have died will rise from their graves. Then together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Then we will be with the Lord forever. So we see Jesus broke the curse of death. Death is now a passageway for being with God. In Isaiah 25, 8, the prophet foretold, He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord will wipe away tears from all faces. Christ's resurrection has made it possible for us who believe in Jesus to say, To die is gain, and O death, where is your victory? Thank you for being part of our study. We hope you were blessed. Our heart's desire is that you would know God more, His unconditional love for you, and all the blessings you can enjoy through His Son Jesus. For a condensed transcript of today's talk, visit our website, bellavictorministries.com. Also, if you are in our neighborhood, join us for our bi-monthly Bible study every first and third Tuesday in Northeast Philly from 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. at the World Hope Center, 1104 Cotman Avenue, Philadelphia, PA, 19111. Thank you. God bless you.